Okay, so I wrote down here in this notebook all of our different stuff that we budgeted for. This does not include our income, and I do have a few things out like how much we gave to our church and stuff like that, but I kind of just wanted to show you all our basic budget of things that people would probably have, and this is what our actual numbers were for the month of October 2015. So we were not out of student loan debt yet. I was probably almost there. I can't remember the exact date we got out of student loan debt, but I'm pretty sure it was 2016 when we got out of debt. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what our budget looked like. So for mortgage, we had 1,087. That's what we were paying each month. We pay our mortgage bi-weekly. So every other week we pay half of this. Well, our mortgage payment is actually more than that now. I don't know why. I can't remember what has to do with, but anyways, our mortgage payment is more than this now, but we pay it bi-weekly. Our electric bill for this month was $57.03. This time of year in Texas, actually in October, and actually right now also, it's March, but um, we like can have all the windows open all the time. We never have to have the AC on or the heat on or whatever. So this must have been a really good month because our electric bill was only $57, which is awesome. Our internet was $57 as well. This is no cable at all. This was just our internet. We do high speed internet because we have Netflix that we like to stream on and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. We do have security for our home. This is something I wanted if we lived in a neighborhood when we bought our house. So this was a no, like we, we have to have this kind of thing for me. So it was, it's $54 and 11 cents each month. That is still the same water was 70, 73.36. Typically our water bill averages probably around $55. But in Texas, it can be really, 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 really hot in the summer. You have to keep your lawn watered. And so it must have still been pretty hot in September for our water bill to be this high. That would be my guess. Anyway, so we budget $120 for gas. This has increased because my husband drives more back and forth from work but back then it was 120 a month our pocket money we did 150 a month i've talked about this in several videos this included clothing going out to eat going to the movies whatever that came out of here and yes we did go over it quite often <laughs> not a ton but we did go over it but this was just a good base number for us this is about what we averaged okay spotify is 1081 netflix 865 my husband goes and gets his hair cut every single month, once a month, at a barber, and it costs him $19.60, so that's that. I have to take medicine every single day for my ulcerative colitis, and so that's the prescription right there for $10. My husband and I both drink protein shakes every single day because we both work out, and so that's $30 a month for the big ol', it's a big old jug of protein, so it's $30 a month. Groceries, we would budget about $350. Sometimes we would go over, sometimes we would go under, but this was a good base number for us. Right now, our grocery bill is actually higher than this because I've now been diagnosed with celiac disease and I have to eat gluten free, which just requires more expensive food, unfortunately. So it is higher now, but that's what our grocery bill was back then. We did $30 for pet care. So our budget, by the way, is all on every dollar. I just wrote this down real quick for you guys. So pet care is $30 so this would be litter for our cat or food for either our cat or dog. It just seemed like every month one of them was out of food or we we're out of litter. It just happened so $30 is what we did there. And then our auto insurance at the time was $89.74. It's actually less than that now. It's like in the 50s I think because both of our cars are paid off. We don't have to have full coverage insurance anymore like we did here because we still had a car loan which required us to have full coverage insurance on it. So that's actually lower now, but anyways. And then we do have ID theft insurance which is $12.90. I had not thought about ever getting this until we took FPU and basically Dave Ramsey just convinced me to get it. <laughs> and to me, $13 a month is worth it to know that I have somebody who is going to protect me if my ID gets stolen. So anyways, there's that. So that's all of our budgeted items. And so then what we had left over for the month to go to our loans, the student loan was $1,491.93. And then our car loan, this is the minimum payment for the car loan, which was $263.59. So this month we did pretty good, actually. 
we did like seventeen. $1,700 towards our debt snowball, which is amazing. That is not what we did every single month. I have told several people we averaged probably 1000 to 1100 a month towards our loans, but this must have been a really good month. I guess I got paid a lot this month or something. My husband gets paid the same every month, and mine is wage or mine wavers back and forth because I'm hourly. But, anyways. I just wanted to show this to you guys. I know it helps seeing real life numbers and now that we're debt free, I don't mind sharing this with you guys, especially since a lot of this is different now. Um, I just wanted, you know, kind of give you some hope. I had a lot of people ask me, you know, what does a debt snowball budget look like? What are like, what did you budget for certain categories? And so now you can see this is what we did. And I, a lot of people want to know what our income is. And I just don't feel comfortable sharing that just because I know a lot of people that watch these videos like personally and I, I don't know I just don't feel comfortable sharing it just yet but uh, to help you all out during this time we we were making about let's see here I'm trying to give you all a range so you have an idea let's say between 50 and 70 thousand dollars a year so it could be 50 it could be 70 or it could be in the middle but that hopefully will kind of help you out a little bit that that was our income range for this budget and for us to pay this much money on our debt snowball but please leave me any questions down below if you all have any I know this was kind of a quick video and and all that kind of fun stuff you can kind of see what our budget looked like thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye <music>